Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. How is everyone doing? I uh, just finished filming a couple videos. I was actually waiting for um, the woman who cleans my house. I was waiting for her to show up and she hasn't shown up and now I'm worried. <laughs> I'm worried that she's uh, not okay. So I just texted her and hopefully we'll hear back from her soon. I will keep you abreast of the situation. But I'm like, oh my God, where is she? She's usually really dependable. Anyway. So I got an early start this morning because I wanted to uh, be done filming before she got here um, because it's it gets very loud when she starts cleaning, which is completely understandable, the vacuuming and everything. Um, so I'm trying to figure out the rest of my day because usually I like to kind of skedaddle when she's, uh, when she's here so I can just kind of leave her alone and have her do her thing. Um, and sometimes I'll bring my laptop someplace else and start editing or I'll just like run a bunch of errands, but I'm, I'm pretty much caught up on errands, which is unheard of. Um, I do have to go to the UPS store. That's just sort of a constant. Um, but, oh, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. Okay. Okay. So you guys remember I burned my forehead right here. You can probably still see it cause there's still remnants of it. Previously I had burned my forehead here both times using a curling iron. This one up here was the first burn I had given myself in a really long time. And I just was like, I don't know, I put some like Neosporin on it. Uh, the Neosporin actually started ending up like bothering the skin around my forehead because I was just kind of putting it on, just smearing it around. And it was really kind of like annoying my, my forehead skin. Anyway, I kind of stopped using that after a few days and then I started using, um, I don't know, my husband had it in his drawer and it was more of a cream. And so that didn't bother my skin, but it was meant, you know, it's meant for cuts and burns and things like that. And it, you know, it scabbed up and um, I still feel like you can see a little bit of, I don't know if you can see it in here because the light is right on it, but there's like a little bit of discoloration and it took a long time to heal. I want to say at least a couple of weeks or so maybe like two and a half weeks until I felt like the texture was completely, you know, smooth and I couldn't really feel a difference anymore. Anyway, so I just did this and I want to say I did this, I mean, less than two weeks ago and I like just wised up to this whole burn situation. I was like, okay, Michelle, let, let's think about this. How do we want to treat this? And so I started putting La Mer on it because La Mer is, at least for me, a very, very healing product. Um, I started using La Mer because I had eczema and my eczema was not the pretty, just kind of dry, flaky skin kind. It was the oozing, gross kind. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> without going into too much gross detail, it was a very special kind of eczema. Anyway, and it would just leave, like it looked like a burn. Um, you know, when I had it, I actually started getting eczema in high school and my friends would think that I had gotten like a sunburn or something like that's how, like, like a really bad kind of like blistering kind of burn. Um, and I started using La Mer probably after college and I was using steroid creams or whatever. Anyway, so the La Mer was really reparative for my skin. It really didn't just keep it like, you know, moist and, you know, gave it kind of like time to heal on its own. It really promoted the healing of it. And it's done the exact same thing to this burn. And, you know, not that I'm surprised. I'm a huge fan of La Mer. I find it to be incredibly magical. Um, but every morning I would wake up and it would be even better, even better. I cannot believe how far this has come in such a short period of time. I also, so I put La Mer on, um, in the evenings and I put it on in the mornings like during my um, skincare routine and I would just kind of put it on this one spot. In the evenings I, I just started putting it all over my face um, but I was just kind of focusing it on this one spot. Um, when I would wake up in the morning after my shower I would come down to that LED, that huge thing that I showed you <laughs> a few vlogs ago uh, that Current Body sent me. It's, um, I think it's called the Dermalux. And it's this thing that you get into basically, and it's just this LED light. And you guys know, I'm such a big fan of LED, my LED mask from Current Body, my neck and deck, that collar bib thing. Um, I just think LED is really magical. And, you know, my first thought was like, well, let me not, let me not fuss with my skin too much. Like whenever I feel like I have um, an issue, you know, uh, a zit, acne, eczema, 
a burn, I'm like, I just kind of start to back away from everything. I just want my skin to heal. I just want my skin to do its own thing. I'm not someone to really kind of like mess with my skin a lot. So I didn't even think to use the LED mask. I was just kind of like taking a break from everything, um, especially like on my forehead in this area. And then I, again, I just sat and like thought about it and I was like, wait a second, LED is supposed to promote like healing and things. So I looked it up and LED light is actually used a lot on like burn victims to help like to help them heal. So I was like, oh, well, let me try it. So I started using it uh, maybe last week and I'm not using it every day. It's, it's like a 30 minute cycle. You don't have to sit there for that long. But anyway, I only used it a couple of times uh, this past week, but every single time I used it, it's like leaps and bounds this has healed. I cannot believe how quickly and how seamlessly this has healed. There hasn't even been, um, which I remember happened over here, like a scabbing situation. Like this literally just has become this like smooth area on my forehead. I'm so happy, <laughs> first of all, so, so happy that, yeah, that my skin is just healing nicely on my forehead, especially on my forehead. I feel like this is such a like visible part of my face. Um, so I'm so glad that that um, is healing quickly. But man, if you ever, I don't know, have a cut, burn yourself, do whatever it is that, you know, you did to hurt your face or any part of your body, La Mer and LED light. It is like the cure-all for that. I, I really can't, I'm sitting here just staring at myself in the viewfinder. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys because I remember when I mentioned burning myself, there were so many of you that were like, same, same, I just burn myself too, same, I do it all the time. Um, and someone actually suggested, they're like, maybe you should wear like a headband <laughs> or something. And that's what I'm gonna do from now on. I'm just gonna put like a little headband there or just even put like a little towel down before I go in with my curling iron. So that's a little update on the burn on my forehead. But I still haven't heard from my cleaning lady. I think what I'm gonna do, since she hasn't responded, I'm gonna go to the UPS store. I was kind of waiting for her to come so I could open up the garage for her and everything. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna kind of go about my day and just wait to see if she texts me. Um, I'm gonna go to, yeah, I'm gonna go to the UPS store, pick up some packages. Maybe we'll do a little PR unboxing. And then I'll probably, grab some lunch. Okay, let's let's hit the UPS store. Wow, it is a gorgeous day outside. It's only 80 degrees, only. <laughs> I can say that in Vegas. It's only 80 degrees outside, but that is like a really beautiful, perfect temperature here. It's even still nice when it's 90, and I cannot say the same thing for when I'm back on the East Coast. Like 90 degrees in New York City is unbearable, but it's really quite nice here, I have to say. So I bought these sunglasses so, so long ago and completely forgot about them. I was actually just cleaning up my um, my finishing room, the room that I'm gonna be keeping um, like my handbags and stuff. That's what we're gonna be building out after we get our primary closet built out. Anyway, I was in that room kind of cleaning it out and I just had a whole bunch of just shopping bags um, kind of sitting around empty and I found these sunglasses in a little uh, shopping bag and I completely forgot about them. I purchased them when I went to um, the Las Vegas premium outlets up in the north. They have a solstice, um, like Solstice Sunglasses um, outlet store there, and I purchased those Big Crazy Gucci's. I don't know if you guys remember this particular shopping trip. Big Crazy Gucci's with a chain, and then I also got those Saint Laurent glasses. Those are the ones I wear all the time, and because I wear those all the time, I kind of forgot about these, and these were just sitting in that bag, but these are a pair of Tom Ford Aviators that I love, 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 and if you guys have like a Solstice outlet store near you at all, definitely, definitely check it out because they have a bunch of these really like designer, um, like classic styles. They also have like some of the wackier ones too, but like so many of the classic styles for maybe like 150 or 199, which is such an incredible deal from like 450 or $500, like the regular retail price. Um, so yeah, I just, I can't believe I forgot about these. Um, but I got these because my old, old Tom Ford aviators, which were black, these are more of a tortoise. 
the black ones that I had, those were in my Chanel bag when that bag was stolen. <laughs> I had so many good things in that bag. Um, so yeah, I wore those sunglasses all the time and I, yeah, I like went to the store specifically to get a replacement for those sunglasses, got these and then ended up forgetting about them. So anyway, these are their maiden voyage out. They're so comfortable. If I can find the exact model, I'll link them down below. But I mean, Tom Ford has a gazillion different aviator styles and they're all really nice i like them all i do need to get a pair that are black though like i said these are tortoise which is great and they're a dark tortoise so i don't feel like it makes a huge difference but i really prefer black ones and i don't think they had them at the outlet so i may have to get them full price but you know if you love a pair of sunglasses i feel like it's totally worth it totally totally worth it I got a bunch of packages. Something I ordered is in here. Where is it? I think it's this box. And I'm so excited to show you what that is. But I am starving right now. So I'm gonna make myself some lunch and then uh, we'll open up these boxes. All right, I just found some, <laughs> some good YouTube to put on while I'm eating. This is Ami Ami. She's a great mukbang channel from South Korea. And I usually like eating lunch with her, so <laughs> I just put her on. I think she's eating some like cold noodles. It must be really hot there or something. So I am enjoying two grass-fed beef hot dogs. That is my lunch. I have been really struggling to get back onto carnivore or even at least like just a very low carb, no grain kind of diet. It's been... Yeah, it's been really hard. I, I spoke about this a little bit, I think in my last vlog or the vlog before, um, but I think because uh, I'm going out a little bit more, I think actually what has really made it challenging and I may have to kind of uh, change up my diet a little bit is I've been working out more. Um, during the pandemic, I was not going to Orange Theory. So I was just doing some stuff at home. Um, I started to go back to Pilates before I started going back to Orange Theory because Pilates uh, is just one-on-one -on -one and there were never that many people in the studio at one time. So I felt a little bit more comfortable doing that. Um, Pilates, while it's tough, it's not like super like cardio intensive and I'm not, you know, like I don't burn like 600, 700 calories in an hour uh, where I do at Orange Theory. So I've been going back to Orange Theory uh, at least twice a week. Um, sometimes three times a week. And when I up my working out, uh, my appetite just is enormous. It just grows, I'm hungry all the time. And I think just, you know, really focusing on protein and fat, while I think that's good, I think I need a little bit, <laughs> little bit of garbage um, to kind of like balance out the working out. And so, you know, my body just started craving just a lot of junk. And I was kind of giving into it for a while. And then, at least for me, I feel like once I, once I kind of like go down that rabbit hole, it's really hard to dig myself out. So, so not only have I been craving more carbs, but I've really been giving into it and not eating like the right kinds of carbs. Like I've really been eating a lot of grains and stuff. And it just, I don't feel good. It, I, don't, I don't feel good. It's not, it's just, it's not good. So anyway, yes, I'm trying to predominantly eat carnivore, but I am going to kind of reintroduce like leafy greens into my diet um, and get my carbs from there. And, you know, maybe a piece of fruit here and there. Um, just, I really like to stay away from like the sugars and stuff. Um, but if I am craving something kind of sweet, kind of just stick with fruit. Uh, definitely don't go for like the sweetie treaties. Um, those, <laughs> those are the worst. Those are the worst for me. That's when I just, I feel like I wake up with a hangover. I feel like that's when I get puffy. I know a lot of people get puffy when they eat really salty food. And I do too, if it's extremely salty, but I, I don't necessarily need to eat that um, that much sugar and I will be puffy the next day when I wake up. So anyway, I'm just trying to like, trying to clean it up again, I'm trying to clean it up again. It's just really hard for me. I just, you know, I like food and um, I can be a very emotional eater. I just, I eat when I'm happy, I eat when I'm sad. So yeah, I'm just trying to like control it a little bit and trying to balance it out with the workouts and thinking, you know, maybe I need to build up to working out a little bit more. 
Um, or maybe I need to incorporate more like weight training versus like full on, you know, hit cardio, which is what makes me the hungriest. So, you know, all of our bodies are just so interesting and intricate. So anyway, I'm kind of in the whole like figuring it out phase again. And while I love carnivore, I just don't think, at least for my body, I think it works for a lot of people, but for my body, I feel like I need something else in there if I'm going to be working out as much as I am working out. Not that I'm working out a ton, please, um, but working out more than I have been when carnivore was working out really well. So yeah, so I'm just kind of figuring it out. I think, I think, yeah, like introducing leafy greens will really, really be helpful because they have a lot of carbs and it's a great way for my body to ingest carbs versus refined uh, starches and stuff. So that's it, quick diet uh, update because many of you have asked like, are you still on carnivore? I think I mentioned it in another video and I think like if you just started watching me, you didn't know that I was on carnivore. So I did carnivore really, really strictly from like last August to, I wanna say like through Thanksgiving. I feel like I made it through Thanksgiving. And then the holidays and yeah, I just kind of fell off and then going out more. It, yeah, it's just been harder and harder. And then I went to New York, totally fell off. Um, I did that in February. So yeah, it's been since then that it just slowly, <laughs> my carnivore diet has been like kind of falling apart. So uh, yeah, that's just a quick, quick update on my diet. So I'm gonna enjoy my my hot dogs here, my wieners, and then, <laughs> uh, and then we'll open up those packages. All right. Hot dogs have been ingested. <laughs> Let's start with this big box on top. It's actually very light. It's from Iris and Romeo. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, how cute. Look at this little bag. It says weekend on it. Oh my God, that is adorable. And the, pro Whoa. And the product they actually included in here is weekend skin. Ah, oh, SPF 50. <gasps> Awesome, the active ingredient in here, oh wow, is zinc oxide. Let's take a look. Let's see, oh, there's a pump. Oh, it's tinted, oh, look at that. It's, it's pretty thick to be expected if it's gonna be a physical sunscreen. But the tint is nice, it is not powdery or chalky looking at all. Oh wow, it has you know, kind of a funky sunscreen smell, but not, not horrible. Oh, neat. Wow, thank you so much, Iris and Romeo. I'm always on the hunt for great, like, SPFs. This is wonderful. And this bag is, <laughs> it's just too adorable. And then we have something, I have, I have no idea, but it's from the UK. Content description, skincare products. That's what we have in here. Let's see. Oh, they have my name on the box there. We are delighted to introduce you to the multi award-winning Emma Hardy skincare range. Yes, no introduction needed actually. I think I used, what is this? This is their, yes, their Moringa cleansing balm. I feel like I used this a gazillion years ago when I was watching YouTube but wasn't actually on it yet. Someone I followed must have been talking about this and it is a really, really amazing cleansing balm. Oh, wow. And they also sent, let's see, Plump and Glow Hydrating Facial Mist, anti-pollution. I was just thinking I would have to pull out my facial mist because I do love using them in the uh, warmer months. And then, ooh, another SPF, Protect and Prime SPF 30. But that is amazing. Thank you so much. I, uh, I'm in the middle of using the Augustinus Batter Cleansing Balm on my face, which is lovely, but I am, am I running low? Well, I'm getting close, but I think I'm gonna have to bust this open because I do remember really enjoying this. Wow, thank you so, so much. Claire, she is the PR person for Emma Hardy. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. And then this, ooh, this is from Dean Davidson. Oh wait, yeah, I'm wearing Dean Davidson Huggies. And uh, they reach out to me every once in a while when they have like a new collection coming out. It's amazing. So big thank you to them. Let's see. So this is their Aquamarine collection. Oof, beautiful. So I picked out their Solitaire necklace. Isn't that so pretty? Wow, thank you so, so much, Dean Davidson. This is 
really, really beautiful. This, I'm not sure, it looks like it's from China and it, the package looks like it's traveled far and wide <laughs> to get here. Ooh, wow, wow. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to open up all this stuff, but this looks like a box full of goodies from Fluorosis. This is, ooh, lip glaze. And we've got some hydrating lip scrub. Oh my God, there's just so much, so much stuff in here. Holy smokes. This is the second box that they've sent me. I've done a video uh, featuring some of their other products. Really lovely stuff. Their eyeshadows are so good. Oh, and their highlighter. That's right, it had like this rose imprint on it. That was really pretty too. Here's a blush. Ooh, here's a powder. And then I'm not sure what this is. Oh, an eye smudge brush. Oh, I didn't realize they had brushes. Oh, well, look at this. To be expected from <laughs> Fluorosis. So pretty. Ooh, and these uh, bristles are so soft. Oh my God, that's so cool. Ooh, a cleansing oil. Some more powder, some more powder. Ooh, a relief palette. I feel like this is one of those really beautiful eyeshadow palettes. Um, some more powder and then another blush. Ooh, thank you so much, Fluorosis. I'm sure you guys will see this stuff appear in a video soon. Like I said, I was really impressed with that first box that they sent me, so this is very exciting. Thank you so much. And this is from Innisfree. And, well, it's that time of the year, isn't it? They sent over some SPF as well. And I think they've sent this to me before. Yes, this is their um, SPF 36. So, oh, they sent a cute little bag too. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. They also sent over, I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's like, a, like one of those huggy earrings and then a sticker. And here is the sunscreen. Yes, SPF 36. I think I have a couple of these actually from them sitting like in my backup cabinet. I have to get to a, uh... so thank you so much and it's free again for sending this over. And this has chemical sunscreen in here. Oh, there's another, oh, there's a patch in the bag. It's like a little uh, patch on a pin. And then we have something from a PR firm. Oh, oh my gosh, more sunscreen, wow. I'm feeling very, very spoiled <laughs> right about now. Ah, Blue Lizard sunscreen. I've never heard of this before. So it looks like these are the products that they sent over. So there is a spray, 50 SPF. There is 50 in a bottle. This looks to be sport. So it's, yeah, water resistant. Uh, Mineral-based sunscreen. What is this? I'm assuming this is, oh, this is mineral-based too. Zinc oxide. And then I think all of this is mineral sunscreen. Ooh, amazing. So this is sheer 50 plus for the face. And this is sheer 50 plus for the body. Wow. This is so amazing. Thank you so, so much to Blue Lizard. I am really excited for this. I was actually just at Walgreens and I was having and hawing. I'm like, do I need sunscreen? Do I need sunscreen? I couldn't remember what I had. I definitely do not need sunscreen. <laughs> I am well, well stocked. Thank you so much. And then I had a few other boxes that I picked up a couple days ago that I wanted to open up with you guys. So I've got something from True Botanicals. You guys know how much I love their serum and their face oil. So this is Shine and Protect Hair Cream Oil. Oh, wow. How many, oh, there's Olivia Wilde. I think, I don't know if she's an ambassador or whatever, but I know she's a big fan of their products. And okay, here is the box. Let's take a look at the actual texture of this product. I'm so curious. Hair cream oil, let's see here. It looks like, an emulsified oil. Oh, neat. Apply one to two droppers on damp or dry hair for pre or post styling or anytime hair needs a boost of shine. Huh. All right, I can't wait to try this out. Thank you so much, True Botanicals. And this, I'm not sure what this is. Don't know. All right, but it has a really cool box here where it just zips right open. Oh, oh wow, Zuvi. I think I got an email from them about a hair dryer. Yes, 
Zuvi Halo. Dry your hair with light care, ultra fast, ultra light, and finally good for your hair. So it looks like there's all these different modes that you can put it in. Care mode, fast, soft style, and cool mode. Use UV, cut your carbon footprint. Wow. Ditch the hair damage. Shiny and resilient, smooth and frizz-free, strengthened and voluminous, hydrated and refreshed. Now, I love my Dyson hair dryer, so I'm gonna have to try this. I'm gonna have to try this and see if it beats out my Dyson, but this is really cool. Wow, thank you so much, Zuvi. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Zuvi. And then I got something from a PR company. Let's see what this is. Ooh, oh wow, how neat. So it looks like Wesley Atelier has teamed up with Saqqara, and I'm not sure what Saqqara is. I feel like, are they like a food company? We're so thrilled to share this bespoke limited edition kit in partnership with Saqqara. Please enjoy these little luxuries designed to be a part of your daily rituals for radiance. Oh, radiance starts from within. Oh yeah, they are food focused. Oh wow, wow this is really beautiful. So, this is what the contents looks like. So they sent over the Westman Atelier Clean Glow Trio, the Petite Sticks. This is perfect for travel. So I've got biscuit, lit, and petal. Ooh, nice. That is amazing. And then a few things from Sakar. So we've got beauty water, ionic mineral drops. Yeah, you just add some to water. And then these are, oh, protein super bars. How neat, I was just talking about this stuff. Oh, this I can't eat. There's cashews in here and I'm allergic to nuts. So I'll pass this on to my husband. He loves a good protein bar. And then we've got youth and beauty tea. Oh, wow. Look how beautiful this um, like envelope is. Uh, meant to restore system-wide harmony, nurture the skin, hair, and nails for ageless radiance. Oh, how cool. Wow, what a special box. Thank you so much to Westman Atelier and Saqqara. Beautiful. Okay, now we're down to my last two boxes, and both of these I purchased myself. So I made... <laughs> One last purchase at Violet Gray before the sale ended. Okay, so I ended up getting another Dr. Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Serum. You guys know how much I love it. It was in my recommendations video. I'm almost done with my bottle, so I wanted to get another one. So I have that. And then the new Victoria Beckham Lid Luster. You guys, I did not know that she had a new one out. This one is called Starlight. So I'm gonna be using this in um, a Get Ready With Me. Uh, not a Get Ready With Me, like a trying new makeup video. And then you guys know how much I love the Amon bath products. I recommended the coconut milk bath like powder, bath salts, and I wanted to try their grounding body oil. Let's see what this smells like. Here is the bottle. It smells just like a spa, like when you close your eyes and you're you know, just about to start your massage and they like throw in some aromatherapy. Mmm, that's what it smells like. Wow. Baobab St. John's Wort Sandalwood. This rich, complex blend is rejuvenating and moisturizing. Really beautiful. And it actually absorbs fairly quickly. It's not like an oil that's like sitting on top of my skin. Mmm, that is lovely. I'm so glad I picked that up. And then last but not least, like I could resist, I decided to go for a candle. So I didn't realize Frederick Mall had candles. So this one is Country Home. Here is the actual candle. I think this is porcelain or ceramic and it has like a red inside. Country Home. It kind of smelled uh, like sweet and powdery at first and now it smells a little bit more like wood smoke. Ooh, that is so interesting. Ooh, that is so interesting. Family and friends gather around the fireplace after a long country walk, removing their coats and holding their palms up to the flames. The children throw themselves onto the warm carpet, rolling around excitedly while the voices above their heads, under the spell of burning wood, breathe sighs of happy relief. Yeah, it really has like a wood smoke kind of smell, but it's also, there's a little bit of sweetness in there. Oh, it's so interesting. Wow. Oh, I love that. Love, love, love that. It may not be that appropriate for these warmer months. It's definitely something I wanna go for in the winter time, but it's beautiful. So that is what I picked up at Violet Gray. And then 
I made uh, a purchase on Instagram. I could not resist. You guys are gonna laugh. This is not beauty related in any way. But from Get Floaty, I got two Hello Kitty inflatable cup holders. I mean, how cute is that? Okay, I was like, stop it. So I had to get that and then I had to get <laughs> a giant Hello Kitty floaty. So it literally is just like her face. And they do have an illustration on the back for reference how big this floaty is. I am so excited. This thing is so heavy. I'm so, so excited. And then they have a Hello Kitty like tube. I think I like that too. Like these big flat ones, you can get pretty hot just laying on top, but I like the tube where like your butt can still be in the water and you can stay a lot cooler. So I may get, I may get a couple of those on top of this. All right, so that was what was in all of those boxes. Oh my God, I'm tired. I'm gonna break down these boxes, get them recycled, and that's it. I still haven't heard from my cleaning lady. So I think I'm gonna text her again. Update, forgot to update you, but I did hear from my cleaning lady. She's fine. Um, I think she just got caught up elsewhere. Anyway, we're just gonna figure out another day for her to come. Um, but I did leave some dishes in the sink for her, so I'm gonna do those now. through a bunch of candles and not only have I burned through them but I've also put them on my candle warmer which I hauled with you guys like many many months ago put them on the candle warmer they smelled great for a while but the wax I feel like lasts a little bit longer than the actual scent the scent started fading with all of these and I was like okay I'm done so I put them all in the freezer so that I could kind of snap out the wax that's left on the bottom there and I'll have a whole bunch of lovely lovely glasses that I guess I could put like brushes in or whatever. And I just did this with like four other candles. I've been going through my candles, okay? I've been going through my candles, so I'm really proud of myself. I'm just gonna go ahead and like kind of crack the wax out of these. but this I guess is metal so I went to nuke this one in the microwave and it started to like burn right here so I think what I'm gonna do to kind of get rid of like the remnants of wax in there is put it back on <laughs> put it back on the candle warmer that'll like soften up all the wax and then I'll be able to wipe it out yeah and I'll do the same thing with this one actually I think I'll start with this one this one has less wax anyway that's what I'm gonna do with these but I was able to basically clean out this one and this one. I just have to take some like Windex to these. Look who's home. Hi, how was school today? Mommy missed you. Mommy missed you today. Come on, come up here, come up here. Tell me how your day was. Tell me how your day was, baby. Hmm? Tell me how your day was. Hmm? What did you learn today? What did you play? How are your friends? Tell me everything. Mm -hmm. I missed you. Look at your cute little face. You look very worked up right now. I thought you were supposed to be calm after school. minutes before I have to leave for Pilates so I thought I would enjoy my coffee outside my pool's going I have to do wordle <laughs> yeah I've got about five minutes before I have to leave so gotta get my wordle done whoa that 
could have been my weirdest Wordle experience. Oh, I can show you because, yeah, you'll be seeing this in the future. This was my, this was my Wordle today. So I had two guesses. Can you even see? There we go. Two guesses, didn't get any of those letters right, and then got it on the third try. That's really, that's, that's definitely, I think, my weirdest Wordle experience to date. Okay, well, it is time to go to Pilates. Good morning, Butters. Hi. Hi, good morning. Hi. Hi there. What do you smell? What do you smell? Hello, I am back from Pilates, and after Pilates, I usually, maybe like once a week, I'll go to Whole Foods and do some grocery shopping. So we're gonna do a little Whole Foods haul. I got some uncured bacon bits to go with my salad. Again, I'm trying to incorporate leafy greens uh, back into my diet. And then I did get some broccoli florets, some scallions, and then I got this sparkling lime mint elderflower uh, mineral water from Whole Foods. And I had gotten one bottle a while ago, really enjoyed it. So I thought, let me get a couple of these. And then I wanted to get some salad dressing, but nothing too crazy. Butters, why are you whining? And then I got some Bragg organic salad dressing. It's really hard to find salad dressing that only has like a good kind of oil in there. I know they have avocado oil salad dressings, but I am allergic to avocado especially it's oil, <laughs> so I can't get those. And then everything else has like sunflower oil or canola oil, which isn't great, but this one only has um, olive oil and then it has a whole bunch of other stuff in there. So that looked good to me. And then I got a whole bunch of steaks that I started to wrap up. I got four uh, ribeye grass-fed steaks and they're actually pretty small. So these will be good, I don't know, like lunch, lunch steaks. I just have to remember that. I have to remember that they're small. But yeah, I got four of them and it only equaled about two and three quarter pounds. So pretty good, pretty good serving size, not too huge. I like the huge ones, those look good, but they're really, I just end up eating a lot more than I, than I should. So got that and did I get anything else? Oh no, I got some eggs. I put them away already. But I got a dozen of these eggs that are locally grown. Um, and I just liked that they were like all different colors. I love that. I usually just get brown eggs, but look how pretty those are. So I think what I'm going to do is leave out one of the steaks for lunch, grill it up, and then slice it up and put it on top of some salad. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'll leave one uh, in the fridge. I'll put the rest of these in the freezer and put the rest of this stuff away. I just finished my lunch. It was delicious and nutritious, um, but I need to get back to work. Oh, I wanted to show you something. I got my June flower delivery. Look how pretty this is. I love, love, love calla lilies. So pretty. And I just love like this color combination. So bright and festive, just like perfect for the summer. And is that, is that Queen Anne's lace? No, I feel like, oh, maybe it is? Maybe that's Queen Anne's Lace. And then, yep, roses, these daisies. I have no idea what these are. But they're really cool. They almost look like an orchid. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this month's flower arrangement. Hello, friends. I just finished up my work for the day and just in time because I am meeting uh, Lori, Lori Hill, uh, for some dinner. We're going out to dinner tonight. We decided on this all-you-can-eat sushi place, which I love. She's never been there, so I'm introducing it to her. I hope she likes it. Um, but in the meantime, I am, sorry, I'm like walking so stiffly because I'm holding some glasses. These are those candle jars that I cleaned out. I'm just kind of collecting them on my desk here, but I had this one. These are the three that you saw me clean out. 
And then I have these three from the holidays, these diptyque ones. So yeah, they're just kind of piling up on my desk here. Hey, I'm at Mr. Shota with Lori Hill. We're gonna enjoy some all-you-can-eat sushi. Here is the menu. It is quite extensive and it's double-sided. <laughs> But yeah, if you're ever in Vegas, check out Mr. Shota in Southwest. I'm gonna grab another one. Delicious. Good morning, guys. How are you? Whew. I went to Orange Theory. I just showered and um, I wanted to get dressed. And I ordered some clothing from Cos stores and I wanted to show you what I got. A lot of these are winners. I have one that I'm on the fence about and one I'm definitely returning. So uh, let me turn you around and show you what I got. So the first thing here is this incredible dress. I love it so much. The patterning is so beautiful to me. It's almost like an ombre floral where the floral gets more and more like pronounced and brighter as it gets to the bottom. It's so pretty. It also comes with this uh, little like tie belt, which is really pretty. Um, the best thing is, well, I do love the V-neck. I think it makes for like a different silhouette, which is really nice. It has raglan sleeves. So it's gonna be like really roomy in the arms. And look at this cute detailing. It's got pleats here. Look at these like little buttons. And you guys, it has pockets. Pockets. I am so impressed with the quality and the style and everything from this. So I, this is definitely a keeper. Um, I got the size, let me see, size 12. And uh, you know, I like my clothing oversized. I know many of you comment on that. I like my clothing oversized, okay? <laughs> That's that. I do feel like I could probably size down if I wanted to, but I don't want to. I really like voluminous, clothing, clothing that isn't just like, uh, like just touching me all over, that really bothers me. So anyway, um, that is definitely a keeper. And then this dress, oops, the facing is sticking out here. I didn't hang this up properly, hold on. This dress I love too. It's just simple, um, but it's got a little bit of detailing that makes it really special. I love these pleats at the waist. And it has this really interesting uh, cuff. It's like slightly elasticized, um, but not, not a ton. Not so it's like cutting off circulation <laughs> in your arm. And then there's this really beautiful like inverted pleat here that makes the sleeve kind of balloon out. It's so pretty. And this one fits really, really well. And this one is a size 14. So I guess their sizing isn't terribly consistent um but i think because it's like fitted in the waist here i wanted something you know again a little roomier i didn't want to have problems like you know sitting down <laughs> in the dress um so that is definitely a keeper as well again it has pockets like that is so awesome i love pockets love 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 um so that is definitely a keeper and then this next one i I was really on the fence about, you probably, you probably can't tell through the camera, but this material, it's like a knit material. It's like a ponty knit and it's really thick. It's like a really, really thick, actually now upon closer inspection, I feel like this is just a Jersey knit, but it is very thick and it's heavy. Like when I picked up the hanger, I was like, oh my God, whoa. Um, so it's a size large before I forget. And I just, I just wasn't sure because of the sheer weight of it. But once I got it on, I actually liked that it was a little bit heavy, that it had some like really nice drape to it and that it wouldn't be something that, you know, got caught in between my legs while I walked or anything like that. It also has pockets, <laughs> big on the pockets. And um, yeah, it's a little bit, I don't know, I kind of like that it's long. It, it's, it's an interesting style because I feel like the polo and this material really make it kind of uh, casual, um, but because it's almost like a floor length black dress, there's like something a little bit dressy about it too. It's just, 
Yeah, I think I'm definitely keeping this too. I don't have anything like this. And once I got it on, it was very, very comfortable. And I do think this will fare really well here in the air conditioning. You know, it's like you're, you're gonna be pretty hot, so you've got short sleeves on, but then you walk in and everything is like super air conditioned. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this. Now, the next thing is a t-shirt that I'm really kind of on the fence about. So it's just a simple black t-shirt, but it's got this really pretty lace detailing at the sleeves. That's it, that's the only, that's the only thing going on with this t-shirt. It is very, very cute, I like it. Um, it fits, you know, it hangs well. It, I think it like hits at the right spot at the bottom. Um, I just don't know like if I'm gonna wear it that much, you know? by itself, because it's not like you'd wear it underneath with this detailing. So I'm on the fence about this one. I think I'm gonna return it, because I'm just, I don't know. I just don't know that I'm gonna wear it. And then I had it paired with these leather shorts. Now these leather shorts are, are definite no. They are just way too voluminous. It's not even that they're too big or too baggy, but they kind of fit in my waist, like they're very comfortable at the waist. I think these are a size 14. Yeah, size 14. They are real leather, and I was like, okay, let me give them a shot. My issue is this pleat, this front pleat here, is so gigantic. It's just too much, and none of it is actually like pinned down. None of it is like sewn down. So I feel like if they sewed it down, and then it just kind of flared at the bottom a little bit, that would be a little bit more flattering, but it's just not, it just doesn't look good and it's not the size. It's just, yeah, it's just the cut and, and the style. So these I'm definitely returning. Um, and then this shirt I love. You guys know how much I love a button front shirt. It's short sleeve, so it's perfect for the warmer months. It's a nice crisp white cotton like poplin. I really, really love the material. And then the lace paneling I just think is so like cool, it's really, really neat. Even though it's lace, I don't feel like it's very girly necessarily. And there are parts of it that are sheer, like here. So you can like see skin through there, but just, just these little spots. So I just think this is so nice. I would definitely wear this, you know, with like black pants or whatever. Um, and this is size 12. And this had some, you know, decent room. Oh, and the paneling is on the back as well. And I love this like yoke detail on the back. It's just really nice. Again, it's like this really interesting combination of like dressy but super casual all at the same time, sort of like this polo dress. So that's what I got at Kaz. And so I'm definitely going to be keeping everything but the leather shorts and yeah, I think I'm, I think I've decided I'm gonna be returning this uh, black t-shirt. And then one last thing to share with you. Um, you may have spied it when I tried on the black, I can't remember what dress I had it on with, but I think both of the black dresses. Anyway, I got a pair of Prada shoes. I have been on the fence about these shoes, whether or not I want to get them. Anyway, I took too long <laughs> in deciding. I went back to Prada, they were completely sold out. They're not even on the floor. Um, I checked around, I had them check around, they just didn't have any in stock. And so I stopped into Neiman Marcus the other day. I wasn't even shopping, I was kind of just passing through and I saw them. She um, only had a few sizes left and I generally wear a 39, um, but she's like, I have a seven and a half and then like something much smaller. And I was like, I don't know. I'm like, that's, that's way too small. But then I was like trying on some other shoes and like all the sizing was really off and she said, you know what, I'm gonna bring out the seven and a half for you. And they fit. I was so surprised. You know, Prada shoes, at least for me, generally run, it depends on the style, but it, they generally run uh, a little bit larger. So 39, that's what I wear in like Manolo's, uh, Jimmy Choo's, maybe 38 and a half, um, Louboutin's 39, like for sure. Um, Chanel is kind of all over the place. Gucci is generally like 39, 38 and a half. Um, so Prada's, very often, I will be like a 38 and a half or 38, but I really did not think that seven and a halfs would fit. Uh, but I got the Crystal Mules. Aren't they so cute? <laughs> they're so cute and they're so fun. And I love this little kitten heel because just comfortable, 
easy to walk in. And the fact that they're mules, it's like, I really feel like I'm just wearing slippers out. Um, super, super duper comfy. Like this is leather on the inside. It's really, really soft. It feels like it's broken in already. And then, I mean, the crystals, so much fun. And Prada's in there, but it's so subtle. Like the triangle is so subtle because it's like crystal on crystal. So I really like that. But anyway, let me actually model them and give you a close up of them on my feet. So here is the seven and a half. I have pretty wide feet, so you can't see my pinky toe. <laughs> can't see my pinky toe in there, but look, they like totally fit. My heel is like well onto the shoe. My big toe isn't like hanging off. So yeah, definitely, definitely try on those shoes if, uh, if you want them and they don't have uh, the size that you would typically wear. But I was really, really, excited to score these. I just think they're so much fun. I wear so much, um, you know, like plain black clothing that I really like to spice it up with accessories. As you know, I have some funky handbags and I like some fun shoes. So yeah, I'm so happy with these. And I can't emphasize enough how comfortable they are. All right, well, I'm gonna get on with my day. I have a lot of filming and editing in front of me. I think I'm gonna put on that floral um, Costor dress. I really, really love it and it is really super comfortable, but I think that's what I'm gonna put on today. Anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and uh, definitely subscribe if you're into my vlogs and I will see you very, very soon.